What's up guys? Welcome to another YouTube video. Today I'm actually going back to the chiropractor. Okay, so listen, I've been getting these, it's like, it's like really bad neck pain to the point that I'm getting like severe headaches. I'm like getting really bad migraines from my neck pain. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's, it's honestly really bad and it's been really messing up my day. It makes me unproductive, makes me not want to work puts me in a bad mood so gotta do something about it been kind of procrastinating this whole week had a busy week and i kept pushing back the appointment and um finally about to head out so i'm actually running kind of late so i'm about to head out all right see you guys at the chiropractor One eternity later.
Silver Kruger on the track What's up guys? Welcome to a new YouTube video. So today we got up early. We're gonna go to the car dealership and hopefully I leave uh, leave with a car, hopefully. So that's the goal. Stay tuned. All right, so we here at the dealership. I'm hopefully gonna leave with a car. So uh, if everything checks out, we'll leave with a car. <laughs> Wifey with me. All right, so we just got back home from the dealership and your boy got a new car. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, so pause the video, go in the comment section and comment what car you think I got. Let me see if somebody, somebody you think somebody gonna get it? Have you talked about it? I don't think I ever talked about cars before. Um, maybe somebody might guess what kind of car you would if, if I'm a big, muscular guy, maybe I might drive a big muscle car hey you know so maybe or a truck a lot of big guys gun truck suvs so you never know but yeah press pause comment what car you think i got and eventually i'll do the uh reveal i don't know if i want to reveal it right away or, make a tease out of it. or, or, or I, I might want to do stuff to the car before I, I, but who knows mm -hmm. i'm still on the fence about that because I, I like how it looks as it is I but too. we're about to do a little toast we're about to do a little toast Toast to, uh, I guess, uh, new moves, yes. uh, new lifestyle, more success, more, uh, more money, <laughs> more, <laughs> more, more growth, more love, more happiness. Right? Yes. Right. Congrats. 
pretty good. If you guys want to know, we're drinking White Claw hard seltzer. So it's like seltzer with liquor. And this is a raspberry flavor. I just wanted to bougify it. We're it. drinking alcohol. 5%, so 2.5% each. <laughs> Turn up. It actually tastes good. I'm not into beer or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a not to be like a hippie but it, it, it's you like, love that <laughs> word hippie this ain't hippie that's what I, I got that from Chris Jones he always said that hippie shit <laughs> but yeah not, not to be a hippie but uh there's like a healthier way to have you know some other bit of alcohol yes yes it is we're all about health we want to look this good in 30 years <laughs> and feel this good I'm gonna go down to four and a quarter. The five was heavy as shit, so if I try to go five again, I'ma just tax myself out way too, way too much, to be honest with you. And honestly, I don't, I don't even know if I can handle five for another set, so I gotta just chalk that last set up to it is what it is, it happens, so I just gotta be smarter next time and step a little further back. I'll be all right. That's the hardest part sometimes, because I feel like we, we go so hard that we set high expectations for ourselves, 
So sometimes when we, when we fail, yeah. we, you know, we're so against failing that we, we kind of want to do it again. Whereas this was like a year ago, probably would I put five on again, but now I'm like, you know what? <laughs> if I hit four and a quarter, like that's not a fucking loss. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. No, not at all. It's just you wrap it up. I'm not fucking losing. This is no. still a win. No, 100%. This is how you would get hurt. Like me trying to go for five, knowing how heavy it was, and knowing that I already, my nervous system already felt that one. So to be honest, it's probably still going to help me get stronger for next time. For sure. Even, you know how when you fail a lift sometimes, it still helps you get stronger because you, you done pulled this shit three, three, four for the way. So even though I didn't get six reps, I got enough reps to, for my nervous system to be like, all right, cool. You're trying to go heavy? Let's see. And the next time, I'll be good to go here. This shit right here that me and Angel doing, this shit not for everybody. This shit not for the faint of heart. There's a reason why it's literally only me and Angel in the gym. And this, this other dude, this, uh, this other guy that be in here that, that nobody talks. <laughs> but but for, the, for the most part, it's just me and Angel in here. Like who's gonna be in here Sunday, Sunday night just getting busy like this? Like we literally like, we got no steam left in the tank, but we still, we still going just cause. Look at Angel. Angel out, but guess what? He gonna get right back up in like one minute, in like 30 seconds. It's to, your set. It's to, your get, to get his set. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna get right back up in his set when it's game time. So this ain't for everybody, man, but we ain't here getting it done. You already know. This should, this should have put some hair on your nuts. <laughs> <laughs> sets of leaning forward and getting that crazy contraction now we're gonna lean back we'll probably be able to use a little bit more weight we yeah lean back. and then uh, we'll focus more on the stretch you lean back you get to focus on the stretch lean forward focus on contraction
Wow. All right, guys. So that's a wrap for legs, quads to be specific. I always do, after my quad day, I always do calves, one hamstring movement, four sets, just to get a little blood in my hamstrings. And I'll do uh, some adductors and calves after every quad day. Listen, I can't remember the last time I was this wiped out after workout, but my carbs are really low right now. Like, believe it or not, my carbs are about 90 to 100 grams right now which is extremely low for a guy, you know, close to 290 right now. So that's pretty, pretty bad. I've got no energy right now, but it's all gonna pay off. Um, I am cutting right now. I do wanna get really lean, uh, maybe contest lean. Who knows? <laughs> you never know with me. So it is a part of it. Uh, eventually my carbs are gonna go back up. Get that little rebound effect, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, it's a crazy quad day. Lots of volume, lots of weight. It didn't hit any PRs today, which is cool. You don't always get PRs, but uh, I tried to at least. But I didn't get any PRs today. Uh, I was close with the five plates, but then I had a little mishap, as you guys, you know, as you guys saw. And I didn't get it. It is what it is. And at that point, I couldn't, I couldn't try it again. It was just. You only get one shot at those kind of things. When you have that much weight on your back, you only get one shot at that. But listen, I'm rambling. I'm tired as hell. I'm gonna take my ass home. See you guys at the crib. What's up, guys? I'm back at the crib. Let me turn the volume down. I'm watching Fawad's podcast. One of the best bodybuilding channels out right now. Fawad Abiyad. Go check him out. If you do not check him out already, never mind the boxes in the back. Like always, you know, it's always getting new shit and all that stuff. So disregard that. Act like you don't see all these boxes behind me. But today I'm going to get a haircut. The catch is that I'm going to a different barber. It's actually going to be my training partner, Angel, cutting my hair. That's the guy you see in the videos with the little beanie scully on lifting all that heavy weight. He's actually a barber and he owns his uh he owns his own barber shop so it's not like a random training partner cut my hair but it kinda sounds cool when you say my training partner cuts my hair but I guarantee you I got the buffest barber out there and the strongest. Put your barber against mine. I guarantee you my barber will smoke your barber in any lift, any pose down. My barber will smoke yours. I promise you that. Anybody challenge me. If I'm wrong, prove me wrong, but now anyways. Let me finish this meal and head over to the to my friend's shop and I'll probably end the video here. Um, after the haircut, I probably won't come back on camera, so. Whoa, excuse me. So anyways, you know the deal. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Leave some comments in the comment section for any kind of videos you guys wanna see in the future. Follow me on Instagram at babyfall. Shoot me an email for online coaching at babyfall at iCloud.com. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Games. Thank you, man. Oh, I'm not happy with my, my first career. I made good money. And like, I was doing really well with the company. And I was getting a lot of opportunity with them. And um, yeah, man, I was mad and happy though, bro. I fucking sucked. I dreaded it. Yeah, no, no, no. I dreaded it, and like, I was fucking, I was in the middle of like, fucking really partying hard, and fucking like, just drugging, and drinking a lot too, so, it was just a bad situation for me. Yeah. And then when I got sober, I still had the opportunity to go back if I wanted to, but, I just, yeah, man, I just was like, I knew I was going to be unhappy. Yeah, man. I didn't leave any, like, new career path, or just, this could be a little scary. Yeah, it could be stressful, worrisome, you know what I mean? It, the problem is, too, sometimes take, people take, like, uh, for, like they change careers, like, later in life. Yeah. And people just think about the time, you know what I mean? Like, oh, man, if I would have started this younger, yeah. or had I, like, pursued this, uh, you know, before I started that other career that I didn't end up doing, like, I don't know, you can't look at it that way, because, like, it took me, like, 
getting to that level where I was at my old career and seeing how miserable I was and how unhappy I was, so that pushed me to get out of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I knew I still had that, like, behind me. You know, I still had that underneath me if I really wanted to go back to it. Yeah, you used to get, like, a paycheck, right? Like, mm-hmm. okay, you always get a paycheck. So the fear of not getting that paycheck, I feel like for me, that, that, that shit made me a little nervous. I'm like, damn, no more paychecks? Okay. Yeah, job security, right? Like, a lot of people like a secure paycheck. People like knowing what's coming in, you know? And when you start working on your own, you don't get that. You don't get that. You know what I mean? It's depending on how much you're willing to work and, like, you know what I mean? And building your business. And so there's a lot of fear behind, like, not having job security like that, you know? And having to do it on your own. That's why, you know, I can see why a lot of people are okay with taking a job that just pays them, you know, a steady income. Because, yeah, like, why not? You know what I mean? They're not wrong for doing it, you know what I mean? But if they're comfortable and they don't don't see and they don't want the, the experience and then, like, the headaches are good and the bass of running your own business and yeah just yeah. keep doing that you know why not you know? Exactly, it's not right. a bad thing in 2020 right it is not cool to have a job so a lot of people want to be like mm-hmm. business owners but they don't realize they're yeah. like that's not the only like it's not the only way it's not for everybody right so you don't have to say i see a lot of people saying oh i, I never want to work a nine to five but they don't have anything going on for them mm-hmm. and there's nothing wrong with working a job and stacking money yeah. and then you know because it's not something you just do right away like you, yeah you have to like have some kind of like uh Either have some kind of income coming in to be able to, to funnel your dreams, or you have to have, uh, you know, got to a point where, where you're known. So for you, yeah. you hire your clientele. For me, I have my clientele. So, I, mean, I mean, essentially, I think like anybody who who works for somebody at some point is ready to do their own thing. That's gonna happen. As that experience, where it's just like, you know, yeah, you know what? Like, I mean, the first shop I ever worked for, you know, I got a great opportunity to work there early on, and uh, you know, I built a really solid clientele. I kind of outgrew the place with my clientele. Mm-hmm. And like the next, the next step was then to like move move up to a spot where I can make more money, where I can charge more, right? Exactly. And, uh, you know, they saw that and it was no bad blood. You know what no, I mean? it was just like it I was get so it, cool. you know what I mean? It's time for you to move on and you got this place, you know? I think that's one of the things, like, even if I work harder for myself, it, it, it doesn't feel, it, I don't know, I, I don't feel stressed out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, working for somebody, like, you just can't wait to finish. Like, you're here, but you can't wait to leave. Like, LA Finish, I couldn't wait to, like, get out. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I can't, yeah. my last client, boom. Yeah. When I train people now, it's like, bro, I'll stay extra and talk to them just because, yeah. like, I'll be done training them after after session, and I'll just be kicking, shooting the shit with them just because, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. no better feeling that's my, but yo, what, what, uh, what shop you work at? Oh. I actually own a shop, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I should, yo, that should is the best for the station for like that, you know? It's crazy, yeah. Like, even now, like, because again, we're not like normal, you know, under like normal times, you know? But when mm-hmm. I get dudes to him, it's like, oh, you got your own place? I'm like, yeah, man, I got my own place. Where's mm-hmm. it at? Yeah. I tell him the whole night. I'm just like, oh, I'm so happy to talk about it because, like, yeah, I work hard for this. Exactly, you know? like, exactly. Like, it is mine, you know? I should be proud and be happy about that. Mm-hmm.